When I was a kid, every night after we turned the lights out, my mom would ask me what I was going to pray for. And every night, I prayed for the same thing. Here we go. Dear God, please give me a cat. <laughs> and then my mom would gently suggest that I pray for a cat and something else. Say that my cousin could learn how to walk or that I could overcome my fear of the dentist. But I just really wanted a cat. <laughs> and I didn't want to complicate the request by throwing in a bunch of other things. <laughs> You know, it's like when you're writing to Santa, you're supposed to tell him a couple of things you really, really want. Because if you write a giant long list, it's overwhelming for him, and, well, that's another story. We're talking about God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I started getting pretty disillusioned with God because my constant dedication and diligent prayer had insofar yielded no cat. <laughs> <laughs> and this prompted my first deep meditation upon religion. <laughs> God... Why has thou forsaken me? <laughs> Is it because I made a giant chocolate syrup puddle behind the couch and then blamed it on the wind? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it doesn't count as a lie if no one believes you. <laughs> Maybe God knows my dad's allergic to cats? Or what if my mom is secretly plotting against me and praying to not get a cat? Like, what if one person prays for something to happen but then someone else prays for it to not happen? Who gets their way then? Probably whoever's older, because that's what always seems to happen. <laughs> I wondered if my mom being Catholic and my dad being Jewish made my prayers not work. Since when I told people I was half Jewish or half Catholic, they said that halves don't exist in religion. It's supposed to be all or nothing. But then we went to some all-inclusive church temple thing, and I paper mache a flower pot and ate some pretzels. <laughs> So, that resolved my soul-crushing spiritual anguish. <laughs> Not. <laughs> what did help was that God finally answered my prayers. Due to, due to some miraculous stroke of luck, and some kind of drug bust, and a restraining order, and various other factors, <laughs> my next-door neighbors were kicked out of their house. <laughs> I was actually really sad about this because I liked them a lot, and one of them gave me a broken bicycle once. But the wonderful thing was that they couldn't bring their cats wherever they were going, so they left them for me. Oh my god. It was even better than getting a cat. I got two cats. Two whole cats. So, thank you God, or fate, or neighbors, or drug enforcement agency, for answering my prayers. And that, for lack of a better explanation, is why I sort of believe in God, I think. <laughs>